Black carpet beetle larvae, like the one seen here, can feed on and damage wool rugs and carpets. But carpets are only one menu item in a long list of potential foods for this pest. The larval stage is the only damaging stage of this insect, as they use their tough mandibles to feed on and eat through a variety of materials. The carrot-shaped larvae range in color from light brown to black and can be as long as 13 millimeters in length. They actively swish around their long tail hairs as a defense mechanism against other carpet beetle larvae or insect predators. The adult beetles can range in color from dark brown to shiny black and range in size from 3 to 5 millimeters in length. In arid parts of the U.S., it has been reported that black carpet beetles are a greater pest of stored foods rather than the textiles that they are named after. The adults will gather outdoors on flowering plants like spirea, crepe myrtle, buckwheat, and other blossoms to feed on pollen. The beetles congregate on the flowers in large numbers to take advantage of this time to find a mate. While adults do not damage materials by their feeding, the excrement created from their meals of pollen can potentially contaminate food or taint museum objects. Adult males can be distinguished from females by their antenna. The club on the tip of the male antenna is twice as long as the club at the tip of the female antenna. Sex pheromones produced by the adult female will attract males to her from a distance. Not all mating attempts are successful, as we see a failed attempt by two males here who continue to attempt to mate even after the female has left. It is important to remember that while wool carpets can be a favorite food source, black carpet beetle larvae can also infest a multitude of products including furs, taxidermy, and grain-based foods found in our homes and warehouses.